Hello and welcome. I'm Clueless Mike and you're watching Modelling for Advantage. So today we have another 40k unboxing for you and the Kaiser has kindly sent me over Combat Patrol Imperial Agents. All the weirdos that serve the Great God Emperor. Well, let's see what's inside the box. Okay, let's crack this bad boy open. So this is quite a packed combat patrol. 33 Citadel miniatures, it tells me, are in here. We have our lovely rule book, as always. Beautiful build instructions in here. And what's good to know is it's also, it's not just telling you how to build them, how they're pictured on the box, because uh, there are some real multi-part kits in here. And this uh, instruction booklet seems to tell you all the different options that you can make, uh, which is good to see, actually, because some of them are reasonably complex models in here. We have our large bag of bases. Most of these look to be on, oh, everyone's favourite, the 28mm, if my modeler's eye is correct, which is a weird, uh, a weird size base. I think it's actually 28.5mm. So let's see what plastic we've got in the box. Let's divide them all up first of all. So that one there, that looks like the Imperial Agents. Then we've got the Arbites over here. We've got a couple of the character models. Uh, we have some more Arbites to go over there. And some more Arbites. Well, let's start at the beginning, shall we? So let's have a look at the character models. So to start with, we have this guy. This is a priest. Uh, this kit um, actually originally came out of Blackstone Fortress, um, but they've repurposed this model. Um, they've released it on its own. It's about £25 on its own. Unbelievable. Little screw like this. Um, um, and it's available in the Sisters of Battle Army, and it's actually a pretty useful unit, and you can use it in Imperial Agents as well. What that does, though, for those of you that don't know, the Imperial Agents Codex has recently come out, and it's got all the Imperial weirdos in it. The Arbites, the Rogue Traders, the Inquisitors, you can take Death Watch, Sisters of Battle, uh, there are some Grey Knights in there. But there's only a few units from each of those factions. Um, but what it also contains is rules to ally those into other Imperial armies. So you can take any of the units in the Imperial Agents book, and put them in a Space Marine Army, an Imperial Guard Army, stick them in a Grey Knight Army, do whatever you want. Uh, but Games Watch have been quite clever this time around, and there are different points in the book, uh, or not in the book, online, you can't get points in a book anymore, um, different points online. So if you're making a pure Imperial Agents Army, you generally pay less for your units. If you want to ally units into other Imperial Armies, they've got a different points cost, which is generally higher. But back to this guy. This is the priest. The priest in the book has two loadouts you can take, one of which has a mace and a little pistol. Or you can take this guy, who comes with an eviscerator with a heavy flamer built in. He is badass. He's also the cheapest single Imperial model you can take in this army and ally into other armies. 40 points will buy you this character with an eviscerator, a heavy flamer, and the ability to really hide in a ruin at the back of the battlefield and score points for you if you need it. He can also lead a couple of units, and he can join the units that already have Inquisitors in, letting you double up on characters, so he's pretty cool in that regard. He gives their units sustained hits, which is a pretty good rule for in close combat. Overall, really good character, and sticking it in this box, making it a lot cheaper to get than buying this separately or trying to get it from Blackstone Fortress. Really good idea. Excellent addition to the box there. Next up, we have another single clan pack character who is quite expensive on their own. I think another £20-£25 kit. Uh, this is the Eversaw Assassin. Now, in the Imperial Agents book, the, all the assassins have had a massive glow up. The Eversaw used to be okay. He'd go and kill three or four Space Marines maybe. He might be able to take on a squad of Imperial Guard, might kill it might take some wounds in return. He is now a full-on monster. He used to have three different rules, and you had to choose between one of them each turn. He's now got all three of those rules all on all of the time. He gets to move, I think, if you activate all his powers at once, you can reasonably, reliably charge 24 inches in a turn. Uh, so he gets to move extra inches, he gets to advance, he gets to charge after that as well. So he can be really fast and an utter blender. He can have something like nine attacks with sustained hits 
uh, three. So every six year old gives you three additional hits. So his his upper end of the damage he can deal is massive. So he's really good and will be seen in lots of different armies. Uh, the model, the actual model itself, is this little bit up here. And he's a really cool model. He's got a big claw, he's got a big skull mask, he's got a cool combi weapon. The thing I'm not a huge fan of is he has basically, like all of the newer assassins do, have a bit of terrain he carts around with him. And his is the most annoying of such. It's basically a skateboard half pipe um, that he is running up the side of. It looks quite cool if you were preparing a battlefield that had all similar terrain. But the fact that it moves around with him is really off-putting. <laughs> um, so a bit weird there. And they also use it to bulk out the sprue. That little half piece of terrain is probably half the plastic that goes into making this model. I mean, I suspect most people out there would prefer a half-price model and not have the bit of terrain attached to his feet. But, them's the brakes. They want to charge you for a model like that. Great model to take, though. Really good. Again, another great addition to this box because it makes it so much cheaper to get hold of those. I mean, those two on their own, that's £50 if you buy it from Games Workshop. I know that seems utterly stupid looking at these two tiny bits of sprue, especially when we compare it to some other sprues in a minute. Um, we'll just do it now quickly. These, £50. This, £20 to £30, because there's another sprue that comes in the £30 kit. So, it's obviously... They have to make a mould to make these things, but it does <laughs> make a mockery, doesn't it, when you look at things like that and the price they are. Okay, next up we have, historically, one of my favourite units in the game. These are the Inquisitorial Agents. So, the basically, the Inquisitor has a bunch of weirdos that he goes around with. Um, and they used to be all kinds of strange things. You used to get Jokero Weaponsmiths, Demon Hosts. Um, it used to get all kinds of servitors, you have hundreds of options. Unfortunately, they've narrowed that down a bit because they produced this kit. The models that you get here are really nice, but the options that you get are a little stymied. Um, they've taken out the Jokero, which are the little orange monkeys, who are one of my favourite things. They've taken out the demon hosts, because they're probably a little problematic in what they're supposed to be nowadays. Um, but you get this kit, and this kit lets you make six models. I think maybe technically seven, but one of them's a little servo skull. So you get six proper models, but they've done it quite nicely in that each of those six models you get, get lots of options on here. Um, the one with the least options is probably the servitor, but he comes with three different heavy weapon choices. So you can build a servitor with a heavy bolt or a multi-melter or a plasma cannon on here. And it's a really cool looking servitor. Um, then the other ones you get a priest-like model who's bedecked in robes and um, scrolls and such, and he looks really cool. And then the other three are Inquisitorial Acolytes, but they get to take, I mean, you can see on the box picture, they are the guys down here. Uh, they get big spears, they get staffs, they get loads of different pistols and such to take. Rules-wise, they're all just covered by acolyte weapons or inquisitorial weapons or such which i find a bit of a boring way of covering weapons but it lets you just make models how you want without needing to worry about the profiles they get which is pretty cool but six models on these little sprues and you get to make them in a variety of different ways um in game you can take 12 models um in a unit and i think you can take all 12 without any of them looking particularly similar other than i think the uh, scroll dude um so Really nice kit, and they also they look really cool, and they look quite unique in 40k. They're not like a unit where they all look the same. Every model looks quite distinctly different, um, and they also don't look like it's not like here's an Imperial Guardsman, here's a Sister of Battle. They're all their own thing. Um, so be especially good if you're doing kind of like role playing. Some of you might play the Road Trader role playing game. These would make excellent models for that because you can model them up how your character would be. Uh, that are they are the inquisitorial agents excellent little models next up is the bulk of this kit and these are the adeptus arbites basically the 40k policemen and in here you get a massive 20 of them and they come with a lot of options so you get two sets of the models which you can buy separately which consists of these three sprues each um, there are 11 models on here. You get 10 actual Adeptus Arbites and you get one cool little doggo or a cyber mastiff as it is, who is 
Another really cool little model. I like him a lot. You also get this floating Aquila speaker thing, which I suppose technically they probably count as a model in their 33. I don't know. Um, but then you get the kit itself, which lets you build the 10 Adeptus Arbites um, in the squad. Now, this is a really cool unit. Um, the sprues themselves can make one of three different units in game. So the different units are, there is the base unit, which is a uh, troop choice, a battle line unit, and they come with combat shotguns, they come with a cyber mastiff, and they're cheap, they're cheerful, and they're actually not bad. They've got a four up save, they've got a reasonable gun, they've got a couple of special rules, they're okay. The second option you can make, and excuse me, I don't know the names of all of them, I think it might even tell us on here, let's have a look. Uh, Vigilant Squad, they're the base troop choice. Then I think there's an Exaction Squad and a Subjugator Squad. Hey, I did know the names. Um, so the second unit you can make is basically an advanced version of the troop choice. They come with loads of special weapons. So if you look on here, you can see there's a sniper rifle. There's different style shotguns. There's riot guns here. Let's have a look what else we're getting. Uh, again, another really cool looking great big assault rifle there. Um, so you get all these different types of cool little options um, on that squad, which is the more experienced squad, and I think the most expensive in-game. And they're okay to take, but the third option, that is the one that you'll be seeing a lot of, and that's the one that really sells this box set as well, because these things are going to be going like hotcakes. Uh, so these are the ones, each of them comes with a Storm Shield, or probably called something slightly different, but it gives the model a 4-up invulnerable save. In-game, they're 85 points to ally into any Imperial army, and you get 11 models. 10 of them have a 4-up invulnerable save, a 3-up armor save on top of that. Their armor save goes up because they've got the shield as well. They get the Cyber Mastiff. Each of them is armed with a Shock Maul. It's a very mediocre close combat weapon. But as a unit, it's 10 models with an invulnerable save, with a 3-up armor save that you're just going to sit on an objective and I can see these going in a lot of Imperial armies. When you're playing Space Marines, you can take Scouts for 65 points. Instead, for 20 more points, you can double the number of people in your squad and make them arguably more survivable with the Invulnerable save and the better armor save. Uh, so these are really good. Stick them in Imperial Guard, you get a unit with a decent armor, decent Invulnerable, and a better close combat. Um, really good. Uh, so you'll be seeing a lot of these, and it's just a lovely kit as well. They're very Judge Dread if you haven't seen the actual models. If we zoom in up here and look on the box, hopefully there's not too much glare. You can see they've got the Judge Dread shoulder pad. They've got the really heavy-looking police armor. The shotguns are also reasonably reminiscent of Judge Dread. I mean, a lot of 40k hive cities and stuff is very much borrowed from 2000 AD. So these models really are buying into that wholesale. But they're really nice models. The fact that you can build the set in three different ways as well if you just want to model differently there's loads of different bits and stuff you can see on the sprues kind of like things like this truncheons here um, there's little um, antennas there's pistols there's little backpacks uh, loads of really cool stuff on here i don't know what this one down here is it looks like some kind of injector pistol who knows um, so really nice kit and you get two of that kit in the box you also get some transfers, I think, in the bottom. I'm not a big transfer user, uh, but let's see what the transfers are for. I assume they're for the Adeptus Arbites. Yes, they are. <laughs> this is really cool. There's transfers down here, or if you can see them, it's hard to work out, of two dead bodies lying on the floor, and they're giving you transfers for them. Hadn't noticed that before. That's really cool. Uh, so that is the Adeptus Arbites. They're the main bulk of this box. And they're a really good unit in game at the minute, and they're also really nice models. So I think overall this Combat Patrol is a real winner. You've got two big squads there, which are really useful. You've got the smaller Inquisitor Henchman squad. Not bonkers in game, but usable in game, but really interesting and cool models to build. And then you've got two characters, which buying separately, really expensive but you get them in the box and you're making a big saving on this box. Uh, so I would highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed what you'd seen, why don't you come check us out on modelingforadvantage.co.uk. There's loads of different ways you can support the channel over there, including merch, that kind of stuff.
Thank <laughs> you.